a visit to the front lines. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky tours the most dangerous zones in the Donbass region. Ceasefire violations here have claimed the lives of a growing number of Ukrainian soldiers since the start of this year. The military does everything possible to defend our country and to maintain the ceasefire. But when our soldiers are attacked and when there are casualties, it's clear to everyone that the army responds. Meanwhile, Russia has said that under certain circumstances, it would hit back and hard. The start of military action. This would be the beginning of the end for Ukraine. Both sides have blamed the other for the intensified fighting in Donbass. In recent weeks, fears of large-scale violence in the region have been worsened by scenes like this. Russian troops amassing along the border. But in response to Western leaders' entreaties to pull back, President Putin said his soldiers were there to de-escalate tensions exacerbated by Kiev. Zelensky on Tuesday urged NATO to fast-track Ukraine's membership into the military alliance. He believes it's the only way to end the conflict, triggered by Russia's annexation of the Crimean Peninsula in 2014. A ceasefire was agreed to within the following year, the fruit of the Minsk agreements, brokered by France and Germany. But on the ground, shelling and sporadic fighting in the Donbass region never stopped. Over 13,000 people have died in the conflict between pro-Russian separatists and Ukrainian troops.